this week? What do I want to do this week? I have been kind of sad lately, the sad girl. Don't know why. Just am. And um, what I might do is pull up some lyric ideas that I have. So I have a bunch, I mean, countless pages and pages of notes in my phone that some of them are like more filled out lyrics where it's a theme and there's like all you know you scroll through and there's lots of ideas most of them are little like one-liners words concepts themes that uh, might be interesting to write about and so I have one in particular that I think would be fun to tackle the the concept is is just it, it's gonna be like a mental health thing for sure Um, And I did say to Jeremy last week that I wanted to challenge myself to say something in a lyric that I would be uncomfortable saying out loud. Um, Something that feels brutally honest and vulnerable. So I have this one line that I want to start with. And it's something that just popped into my head because it it is a true story. Um, the line is, I got ghosted by my therapist. And this really did happen, unfortunately, to me. Um, it was a therapist that I had been seeing for seven years. Who literally just disappeared. Um, it was quite an experience, but I it felt like this very... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone relates, but like when something ridiculously stupid, ridiculously bad happens to you and you just feel like, oh, well, of course, you know, like, duh, like, of course, this would happen to me. (laughs) It's a very pessimistic view, but it kind of felt like a funny joke that had happened that was like, it'll be funny, like soon. In in hindsight, it kind of is funny to me. Um, At the moment, it wasn't very funny, but I want to just like start with that and write about that and see what, where that takes me. Um, I have to decide on an instrument to start with. I think, I think I'm feeling an electric guitar today. So let's, let's go pick that up. So, um, I have these lyrics pulled up and this is C. Ghosted by my therapist. So it's a matter of time. With an A, huh? Hmm. I can't use time twice. That's silly. Okay, let's just keep trying. I got ghosted by my therapist. So it was a matter of time Seven years and what this show for it Now I'm just poor and I Don't know why I always feel like mm. I don't know why I always feel like dying So, I have this I have this Um and I think I, I, instead of um, dragging these lines out, I think I want them to be very like nonchalant. Like I want them to feel like throwaway lines, you know, um, not linger on them. Because I think that that's really what the lyrics kind of feel very nonchalant, but like saying really like uncomfortable things. So um, instead of strumming it too, I think I'm going to have to pick it because... Mm-hmm. 
um, I need to do something with these lyrics because I have a like I got ghosted by my therapist guess it's, it was a matter of time I don't know if that actually works I feel like I need to say something not as predictable it kind of just like there's like this boom I got ghosted by my therapist and then like I don't want it to just I feel like I should say something just as shocking in the second line you know to keep it interesting so maybe I'll I'll play around with that this is this might be a really depressing song um but kind of I'm gonna maybe try to keep it funny you know let's hide behind my humor so what I'm trying to do now is to come up with new creative ways to say something that is still vulnerable and honest but in not in um, an obvious way I think I want to maybe ask questions that would evoke strong feelings or emotions instead of just saying like oh I'm sad you know um <laughs> I have this this line that came after my first little verse here I'm still sad but I'm not mad about it which is like very much like my I dismiss my depression and anxiety quite a bit and uh pretend that I'm like totally fine with it and it feels honestly that I am it feels like I am totally fine with it I'm so used to it um but that dismissiveness of of my own <laughs> problems is very it's, it's one of my toxic traits that I kind of want to display here and hopefully call out in other people just to you know like hey this is probably not good like if somebody were to ask me what's the story behind these lyrics I would have to go into some really dark details of my life um and I don't know if I'm really ready to share those things but I guess the first step would be to write a song like this and then I can decide if I want to share it or not um or if I want to keep the lyrics or change them or pretend or just like I could always just not tell people I forget that that's an option. I think as an artist, like you're always looking for new ways to express yourself. Um, but you don't have to. <laughs> I think at some point I'll be forced to um, by my own need to express myself. But I don't know. I think that it's is going to turn into kind of a quirky little song could be funny could be depressing probably somewhere it's gonna be like a dark comedy of songs you know I think I'm just gonna because I, I think I've gotten to a point where I'm like I've, I've hit a wall with these lyrics now I'm gonna try to find a melody so I have been writing in circles for the last hour or so um, because I think I have compromised the feel of the song so with the I'm kind of leaning more into the chord progression which is more kind of R&B um, and I want it to be a little bouncy or a little bit more fun that's like kind of what the melody is doing um, when I when I sing over those chords it just it's becoming a little bit more bright and happy and fun which is which is fine I actually kind of like the direction that it's going but now the lyrics are not um they don't feel right. They don't, it feels a little trite. I, I get, I'm getting stuck on this part that's a little too vague and dark. Like the more that I, I write it, the more it feels like, oh, this is actually like a song that people would sing along to. I kind of set out thinking this would be a song that you just listen to, you know, in your car and like when you're sad. But this I believe is becoming more of a sing-along song and if that's the case I think I need to be less vague with my lyrics I need to settle on a hook which I think I have the lyrics for it's the lyrics I'm still sad but I'm not mad about it and I'm okay if we don't talk about it um it's I feel like it could potentially be really lame but I think I can make it work if I really hone in on what the sentiment is, it's not just, ooh, I'm sad. Like, 
because I think what this is becoming is a song about like I'm not okay but like let's just have fun for a minute you know like like it's I this whole thing is like I'm crazy I'm sad and it's it's okay for now like for now it's okay that's what I think I want it to be I think what I'm trying to capture in this song is that in the process of healing in the process of taking care of yourself and doing the hard work of getting better whatever that means to you that it is okay to still try to enjoy life or just to be in the moment like okay you're sad Like, let's not be so afraid of these emotions, you know? And sure, we don't want to stay there, but I think I was running away from... I was striving for perfection. I wanted to be healed and perfect and in control and awesome and productive. And I wanted to have everything in my life just right. And I was chasing that for such a long time. And I think I'm finally at a place where I'm like, I'm not there. If I ever get there, it'll probably be for like one hour in a day, 10 years from now. And then I'm going to revert back to being a human being with emotions and flaws and um, stress and anxiety and, and all of that. And it's fine. It's fine. I've spent my whole life doing what I feel like I should do so much so that it was so programmed into my brain that I was completely unable to even feel what I wanted, what I thought, just my natural thoughts, my natural inclinations, my natural responses. I just immediately diverted to what I thought was the the right thing to do, the right thing to say, the right thing to be, the right thing to like. And that includes in this whole healing process in therapy. So yeah, I think I think I'm just going to embrace this mess. That's what this is about. It's actually really helpful for me to talk this through even on camera. I got ghosted by my therapist. I talked her, I talked her out of my seven years and what to show for it. Now I'm just older and poor and I'm happy and now being the me. And I'm happier now than I was before and yeah, I'm one crisis short of being in jail And it's still filled with walking with shoelaces in my shoes <laughs> Because I'm still sad but I'm not mad about it Cause I'm okay if we don't talk about it It's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame that Everyone knows all about it, but I'm looking for a bright side for once. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. I'm trying to remember where we left off. This is what I have so far. I'm still figuring out a little bit of the, the lyrics and some of the timing and the melodies, but yeah, this is what I have. I got ghosted by my therapist. I talked her out of her mind Seven years of what to show for it I'm just older and poor And I'm happier now than I was before But I'm still one crisis short from being in jail And it still feels like a joke That I'm out here with laces in my shoes In my shoes Cause I'm still sad but I'm not Mad about it, I'm okay, but let's not talk about it It's a shame, it's a shame that everybody knows about it But I'm looking on the bright side for once I turn in the corner
call it just to run back to another test that you'll have to get me down from. It's a shame, it's a shame you always have to be this way. But I'm looking on the... What is wrong with me? I'm looking on the bright side for once. Yes. Anyway, that's that. Um, I think so. Verse two. The best thing that anyone ever told me was that not everything's supposed to be this hard. It's not too good to be true. But I'm starting to see the best thing. The best thing that anyone ever told me was that not everything's supposed to be this hard. It sounded too good to be true. But I'm starting. Starting to think that she knew a thing or two And And I'm still come I st And I'm still come on days But I'll say that it's nice to be a little bit less paranoid these days And it still don't feel real But I'm walking around with laces in my shoes My shoes Cause I'm still sad, but I'm not mad about it. I'm okay if we don't talk about it. Oh my god, I hate boobs so much. What is the point of them? I have babies. Okay, and then uh, I have this bridge that... Life says that I'm crazy. My parents think that I'm lazy. My therapist kind of hates me. Nobody... <laughs> okay. Nobody around here wants to date me. Oh, should I just lost my car keys? The cops are all out to get me. I'm getting a little crazy, but I'm still fucking balling. <laughs> All right, well, you know, that'll be a fun little bridge. Okay, so really, look, right now I just need to record this fucking guitar. And then I can, uh, I'll nail down the lyrics as I um, get to them. Okay, so, sure, I think we have a, a very, 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 very basic take that we'll just make do. Let's try this. Um, all right, first take. Um, not even going to bother with a pop card. This is a demo. We're going to keep it that way. Okay, just, just raw. Okay, who cares? I have a burp coming up that might just come out in this take. We'll see. I got ghosted by my therapist I talked her out of her mind Seven years and what to show for it Yeah, yeah I'm saving that run for later Oh god, that guitar sucks, but we're gonna deal with it <sighs> It's 1am I have children, what am I doing? The best thing that anyone ever told me yeah, that part we need to figure out. It's two o'clock. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got, babies. Are, you, are we ready to listen? This is the best I could do. I can't. There's nothing left in me. So let's let's just jam out. I got ghosted by my therapist. I talked her out of her mind Seven years and what to show for it Now I'm just older and poorer And I'm happier now than I was before But I'm still one crisis short from being in jail And it still feels like a joke That I'm up here with laces in my shoes In my shoes I'm still sad but 
I'm not mad about it. I'm okay, but let's not talk about it. It's a shame, it's a shame that everybody knows about it. But I'm looking on the bright side for once. And I'm turning a corner just to run back to another ledge that you'll have to talk me down from. It's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame. I'll always be this way. But I'm looking on the bright side. I'm looking on the bright side for once. Oh, yeah. The best thing that anyone's ever told me was that not everything is supposed to be this hard. Sounds too good to be true, but I'm starting to see she might be right. I'm still counting my days, but I say that it's nice to be a little bit less paranoid these days. And I still don't feel real that I'm walking around with laces in my shoes. In my shoes Cause I'm still sad But I'm not mad about it I'm okay If we don't talk about it It's the same, it's the same That everybody knows about it I'm looking on the bright side for once And I'm turning the corner Just to run back to another place That you'll have to talk me down from It's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame I'll always be this way But I'm looking on the bright side I'm looking on the bright side for walls Holes Looking on the bright side Yeah The doctor thinks that I'm crazy My parents think that I'm lazy My therapists always hate me Nobody here wants to date me My pharmacist thinks I'm an addict I don't even take what they give me I know that I should be better But I'm looking on the bright side The doctor thinks that I'm crazy My parents think that I'm lazy My therapists always hate me Nobody here wants to date me My pharmacist thinks I'm an addict I don't even take what they give me I know that I should be better But I'm looking Looking on the bright side. I'm looking on the bright side, baby. Anyway, that's the song. That's it. Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs>